Hey guys, today's episode is a special one. I'll be playing GeoGuessr in the Faroe Islands, but I'm actually traveling to the locations, I guess. It's gonna be an epic adventure from the screen to the real world. So let's jump in and see where GeoGuessr takes me. Okay, so today we're going to the Faroe Islands. Um, let's see if we can get a perfect round. Yeah, let's see if I can. Hey everyone, and welcome to a bit of a different video today. For me, GeoGuessr is a fantastic game that lets you explore the world in a fun and playful way. But no matter how fun it is, it can't really compare to traveling in real life. And part of the reason why I started posting on YouTube recently was to find a way to combine these two interests. So I'll talk over myself here for a bit and don't worry, I don't have a lot to say and I struggle for quite some time before I find the first drop. So the goal of today's video is for me to get a few locations in the Faroe Islands randomized by GeoGuessr and then go there in real life and explore. So I first got my eye on the Faroe Islands through playing GeoGuessr actually. So I was playing the Faroe Islands map with some friends and as we were scanning the map to find our location we stumbled over a little like a little text that said James Bond's gravestone or James Bond's tombstone or whatever and we felt that was quite odd and unexpected and then we started like looking into it and apparently they've actually raised a tombstone for James Bond because this is where the last movie was shot and spoiler alert uh, he dies presumably and um yeah, so the people of the Faroe Islands have decided to erect a gravestone uh, with James Bond's name. So I started looking into it. I was like, this is fun. Like, that would be a fun place to go. So I did. So when I started to plan for my trip to the Faroe Islands, I realized, why not let GeoGuessr give me more locations to go to? Uh, more places to explore and places that I probably wouldn't have gone to if I wasn't told to do so. So before leaving I sat down, I played through the map and tried obviously to get a perfect score uh, but also to get some interesting locations. I didn't really plan this out before going, I didn't really have a script to work after and in all honesty it was just a very rough idea for a video concept and I just went with it. So bear with me as I'm trying to figure out how to work a camera, how to be slightly less awkward when I'm talking into a camera while recording and just figuring out all of these things with editing and putting a narrative together and just making content for you guys. I don't really know, I'm new to it and I'm figuring it out and I'm very happy to get any and all of your feedback. And also bear with my past self here, trying to figure out his first location. And then join me on a trip to the amazingly beautiful Faroe Islands. I'm gonna let myself talk again now. Field otherwise if it's not this. But it's not. Like how far out are we? South east and we're still kinda of like looking out over could we be like all the way up here somewhere? Here. My Iman. This is the street so we came from over here, this sounds familiar. Let's go back to the start. We got a funky church there. Seems so, okay. Well, we have a road name here Oman Hoy Dollar. Uh, and that's going down. That's this one. And I assume it's actually this one then. And no, wait, because there's the church. Oh, hmm. I mean, 
mean, this is clearly the church, and then you have like whatever it's a school or something behind it. There's another church. Okay, that might be that one then. And, and, and what? There's another church here. I I don't get what I mean. This looks like the bend. So. There's a lot of traffic, but here we are on a beautiful morning just north of Torshamn, the capital city of Faroe Islands. In the back here you can see the church and then the street down here and some beautiful scenery of islands and uh, I guess more like here. You can see Torsam down in the background. Well, so this was the first 5,000 points uh, for the perfect round in Faroe Islands. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're looking east, meaning that we are on the west side of whatever water this is. And the kind of formation here leads me to believe that we might be in Clocksvik here. Um, let's start over. It feels like we're kind of as far away as we can be. Um, and there's the end of that road and then we come down to here this could be and then you go do that one around yeah so we where did we start again here then yep here we go for spot number two you can see that brown and white house in the background here which is and then over here we have the view of Klaksvik so we're we found ourselves pretty far north but yeah this was our second drop so this is what brought us up to 10,000 points out of the 25k and uh, let's see what else we can find. So I didn't actually make it to this one uh, because of how the ferries run it would take like a full day more or less to make it down to the southern island and it just didn't fit our schedule. Instead we went to see Mula Fossur waterfall from which you can also see the island of Mishines where we spent the entire day looking at puffins. So I'll treat you to some of that footage instead.
airport or shuttle bus. I mean, it looks airporty. It has to be right. I mean, the airport is out here, so like. easy spot when you fly into an island but uh, here we are this is what it looks like in real life as well uh, not much has changed since the Google car was here at least uh, but this was the fourth drop and bringing us up to a total of 20k so uh, yeah one more to go that's four out of five, and oh, one of those drops. So we have a coastal road, kind of like heading west, so along the south coast of an island. From there, but then other islands as well down to the south. So, oh, here we do have options, though. I do not like that. Also, like a ferry thing, but uh, oh, Scoopoo is here. Oh, wait, what do they mean by this? Okay, yeah, so we, yeah, we came here on this one. Okay, we're in a little bit of bend. Basically, I'm just straight west. Here we got the final drop. Um, this was the last of the five to get the perfect score on Faroe Islands. Um, not an ideal place because, as you can see, like I'm, there's not much sidewalk here. So uh, just be a bit 
careful having uh, nice waterfalls wherever you go in this country it's also one of the benefits and uh, yeah this is a nice way to end the day here as well just before the sun sets well that was that four out of five isn't too bad i guess for anyone who's still watching i just want to say thank you i hope you've enjoyed this twist on geo get your content i guess this is also a good time to ask you to subscribe to the channel uh, to make sure that you don't miss out on any future uh, videos like this please also leave a comment with ideas or feedback on how i can improve this kind of content where I combine GeoGuessr gameplay and real life traveling. I would love to make more videos of this kind. I'm just not sure how to do it or how to go about it. So any tips are greatly appreciated and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.